So behind me we've got the greenhouse and the, the new big high raised beds that I, I put in this winter. And you can see on the caption up there, if any of you guys that have not seen it before, interested in seeing how I built the greenhouse, etc. It's definitely been a case of getting used to these beds uh, this year. I planted up this one and I'll show you in a minute as a, a bit of a mixed bed, all different types of, of plants in there. And the greenhouse has mostly been uh, chilies and basil, etc. And the beds that I've created around the greenhouse, I've got tomatoes and more basil, chilies, um, and on this side here with the the, uh, the pergola type thing, I've got uh, runner beans and different types of climbing beans up there, and they're, they're starting to go away. But definitely, some places are doing better than others. Maybe it's the soil, but just getting used to the sort of different light conditions. Like this place gets this side gets the the sun earlier in the day and then obviously in the afternoon you can see it's in shade now so i have to get used to that and the other side what i thought was going to get sun most of the afternoon is starting to be shaded by those trees there so i wasn't expecting that so it's just getting used to these different things but let's have a look see how this bed's got on so i planted this bed here behind me as a bit of a mixed bed. I've got um, tomatoes and uh, broccoli, basil, smaller tomatoes, lettuce I had there early in the year, peas, and on the side here obviously different uh, climbing beans etc. What else? There's some rosemary, different herbs etc. Um, this was a new bed, new soil, and again, like I said, getting used to um, the actual bed itself. Some things are done better than others. This tomato was looking rather sickly earlier on in, in the year, but now look at it, it's like a, some sort of beastly triffid. And I'm expecting that to grow up over high up the pergola for the rest of the summer, starting to produce in big, this is a San Marzano, so it'll be producing nice big sauce tomatoes. So this is doing well. And down here, as you can see in the uh, in the film, I've got these little tiny Tim tomatoes. Um, not doing so well. Well, they're doing okay in, in this bed. In the other beds, they're doing a lot better. Um, but they're producing tomatoes. And Mrs F says they're looking really sweet. And some other of the, the tomatoes here are, are starting to produce actual tomatoes. So I'm pleased with that. Got a couple of nice, cos beautiful cosmos here. That's going to be starting to flower soon and that'll be pulling in the pollinators for the other things that need flowers the same as this this lovely um, sunflower here that's going to be um, pulling in the pollinators and um, lots of bees everywhere so um, that's good the peas at the end there not done well at all um, in fact I'm just I only left them in so to show you in this actual film as you can see they're all yellow and sickly and um, they've caught something but I'm going to whip them out and put something else in at this time of year I can still sow basil um, some uh, lettuce maybe because the shade from the other plants um, should help the lettuce even though it's going to be hot um, but I could be thinking about some kale now and some uh, maybe some more broccoli as you can see this broccoli here is doing quite well or different one <laughs> some of it's doing well all the way down to some little tiny ones but they're still going got to be vigilant now for cabbage white butterfly keeping a look on the underside of the leaves to make sure there's no actual eggs there because before you know it you can go to bed come up the next day and your your uh, your broccoli's been devastated by some big fat hungry caterpillars so this is a good time now to be keeping vigilant for those cabbage white butterflies what else? Still got lettuce in the side there. That seems to be doing all right. The, uh, the slower growing red lettuce and, and the butterscotch, they're, they're, they're still doing well. And the beans now, although slow to start off, they're now starting to, to get amongst it. And especially the ones on the other side are starting to grow up those poles. And I expect them to, to romp up there in the next month, producing 
lots of different purple and runner beans etc looking good the bed over the other side there the basil not done as well as I'd hoped obviously that's to do with the, the Sun not getting to them in the afternoon compare that to the basil in the greenhouse which is been producing me absolutely superb class basil all for the last uh, six weeks just day after day I can go in there and pick more basil more basil so looking at those conditions next year I'm either going to put a cover over there or we'll probably not even grow um, basil in that side definitely going to grow more in the greenhouse next year what else we got so let's have a look but I've got some I've got some bush beans and they seem to be doing okay and I planted some lettuce as you can see there um, I've got some young lettuce now uh, and that's coming and that will probably benefit from the shade in the afternoon so it will get sun in the morning and then when it gets too hot in August a nice bit of shade that will help the lettuce prolong it not not letting it go to bolting but let's go and have a look around the back now so as you can see round the back here uh, this is south facing although is slightly shaded sometimes by the trees behind me but most of the day it gets a good amount of sun I've got tomatoes all along the back um, basil along the front here um, and in the corner here I've got some more tiny tim tomatoes and some peppers that are not doing as well all the tomatoes now are starting to to do really well I'm growing most of them up obviously the sticks in the corner there um, in this up the other end there I am growing I'm, I'm trying a bit of an experiment just to see how these tomatoes sort of perform if you just let them get on with it you know start bushing up everywhere um, just to see what happens see if I get as a good a yield as I do off these tall ones the tomatoes that I've got are the San Marzano again the big the sort of plum tomatoes um, F1 mixed F1 mixed I think they're called cherry tomatoes lots of them be, been a good performer for me so far these tiny tims again the basil as you can see starting to perk up it's take it's taking its time unlike the stuff in the greenhouse but this is looking healthier than that stuff that's around that side so it's funny just that little bit of extra sun that obviously gets being on the south side is starting to uh, look a lot healthier which is good for me because then I can make some more pesto right last side this side so again more tomatoes all the way down this side here if it all comes in I'm gonna be under a snow of tomatoes and definitely making all sorts of different sauces etc for the winter um, probably giving a lot away as well which is no bad thing um, center oh a center row of chilies and uh, basil again this basil here hasn't done that well and a front row of basil which again is starting to come on a little bit but not that good um, and then I've put in right at the end there uh, a couple of pumpkins so hopefully they'll just start to grow and romp off along the side and just grow along there the, uh, the t tomatoes this one here this side one was really sickly early on in the year all leaves all curled up and everything but now it's managed to survive and it's it's romping away up the pole and looking nice and strong all the rest of them starting to actually produce me tomatoes various different ones peace fine or the f1 cherry mixed um, now the chilies now one of the reasons I actually built my greenhouse was that I never particularly I'm never particularly successful growing chilies or peppers so I thought oh I'll grow a greenhouse I'll grow a greenhouse I'll build a greenhouse and you know they're gonna, they're gonna have that much better protection but I've, I've put some peppers and chilies outside this year and as you can see not doing that well at all they're very small and, and spindly whereas you look inside at those ones in the greenhouse and they are all looking massively healthy producing peppers already so obviously um, 
they're a bit further that way so they get me more sun but then it's that constant heat isn't it constant heat in the night time because they're enclosed and then that that <laughs> quite fierce heat in the daytime they're obviously loving that and really romping away so let's have a look in there at the green at the um at the greenhouse itself so here we are where it all started in the uh, in the winter with uh, me sowing the seeds etc and i'm glad to say i'm gonna i've got to say it's a roaring success so far so glad i built it uh, the basil i've just i just cut this basil yesterday and, and took 100 100 grams of basil from these plants to make some pesto yesterday but again you know these are romping away looking good i've got some new purple basil growing now that should be uh, growing quite quickly now but behind me is the real success the chilies as you can see the peppers and the chilies are doing equally well throwing out fruit left right and center and here also um, I've got in the in the raised bed here earlier on in the air I had all that lettuce um, turned it over to tomatoes basil chilies and peppers again just to see the difference funny these f1 cherries right at the, at the end here robbed away and as you can see they've got loads of fruit etc then all of a sudden said i'm not having any of this and off they went not I'm, i've left them there just to see if they're gonna actually uh turn a color but um if you don't in a couple of weeks i'll probably chuck them out but everything else in here again chilies peppers nice big chili there coming up the basil's loving it in the corner um, and these tomatoes here seem to be doing all right i planted these late but yeah well, overall massive success in here so far really really pleased covered in insects but uh that's what you want really because you want the insects in here to pollinate all the plants but great stuff so far so behind me We've got a, a riot of white flowers with the coriander, or cilantro as you call it, and soon they'll actually be turning into coriander seeds when all those flowers actually go over to seeds. But I'm leaving them there, and as you can see, they're a, a riot as well, a riot of insects, all pollinating insects, hoverflies, etc., all around them. And that's brilliant because it's, you know, bringing these insects near to my, my greenhouse and the tomatoes. And it's just it's just good for the insects anyway but that'll be turning over soon to coriander seeds and i'll be drying them out uh, behind that the corn is doing absolutely fantastically it's uh, growing really well last year complete disaster nothing happened uh, this year i planted some direct or sowed some direct outside and planted some earlier just in cases and everything is actually doing really well so i'm pleased with that that's all going really nicely. Below me here, the carrots are doing well. I planted, I did some succession planting of the carrots, but we had a really dry hot spell. And obviously sometimes when that happens, the carrots don't particularly like it, a bit too dry, they won't germinate, but we've had a bit of a damp spell the last week. And all of a sudden, as you can see, we've got some new carrots germinating. These carrots, I'm gonna start picking these in the next in the next two weeks to a month just picking them when I need them they'll be ready I picked one earlier and it was about it was about that big but I can get some really good ones and in you know from about two or three weeks time they'll start producing nicely so everything on this side is looking really well um, over in the in the corner you can just catch it on the edge of your your screen there that is the that is the asparagus now grown up into its proper plant leaving it now let it grow all the way until the frost time um, to get all its strength to gather itself for next year when those spears come one of the first vegetables of the year so i'm leaving that on its own i might plant some lettuce in between actually in the next uh, week or so that again will benefit from the the shade of the actual asparagus let's have a look at the old potatoes i had a fright last month didn't i so here we are in the potato patch now if you remember, in uh, those of you who haven't seen my recent potato update, update, last month I reported on these potatoes 
and while this side was doing really well and even started flowering, shooting up, this side there was just literally one potato plant had come up. So we've got the seaweed side, this side, traditional growing side, that side, and the, the potatoes that had been planted in the seaweed weren't doing anything at all. And I'd been bigging it up, saying, yeah, seaweed's great, brilliant potatoes, clean potatoes, much more potatoes. In fact, I didn't have any potato plants at all, bar one that had grown up. But as you can see now, looking really good. Looking just how it should do. A bit behind, but that's no, that's no big deal because the, when these potatoes start to sort of go over, these ones that are smaller now will obviously still be producing. So I've got that staggered um, potato. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. I've earthed them up a few times. Um, everything's looking good. Still haven't, uh, fortunately, no attack of the, what is it? The Colorado potato beetle, as my son says. Still no sign of that. Um, I had a bit of a problem with it last year, but I'll be keeping ever vigilant. But yeah, those potatoes on that side, all, everything's looking good. Really pleased. So as you can see behind me, I've got my rustic fence uh, and I've got all tomatoes all the way along the fence there with a couple of grapevines um, thrown in for good measure. Again, um, is, is it a bit annoying? <laughs> Reporting great robust health from everything. Look at the tomatoes, they're, they're growing up really well, nice and strong. Everything's flowering, as you can see in the close up there, they're just looking, looking nice and healthy. This one here, the top has actually broken off that one, but that'll sort of recover. My grapevines have even got some grapes on them, which I can't believe. Um, I've had them in four or five years now, or was it three or four? Not really been, been doing anything for me, but this year now, they've, the first year they're actually producing some, some grapes on there. So looking forward to them later on in the season. Again, everything doing really well in this early part. It can all change, but I'm, I'm feeling feeling good about everything so far. So there we go, a tour around the optimistic vegetable garden. Overall, yeah, we're all in success. Everything's looking really good, nice and healthy. Um, feeling, uh, feeling optimistic about the, the second half of the summer. Don't forget now, you know, we want to be planting when the peas will be coming out in the next in the next month. Well, I've just cleared that that uh, lettuce bed, so I'm going to be putting broccoli in there. Um, got to be thinking about the stuff to go ahead. We can be planting you know, parsley, lots of different, some more coriander you could be um, planting, kale. Even for the next week or so, you should be able to get anywhere here or in the UK. Should be able to bang in some some. Uh, dwarf French beans of some sort, yellow beans, be able to bang them in and they'll they'll produce you a, a crop. Even get some, some onions in. You, if you plant some onion seeds or something now, you'll get some spring onions towards the end of, of the summer, no worries at all. So, all in all, got to be happy. Nice sunny day. I think I'm just about to leg it in the pool. Jobs are good.